Hi, junk journaling friends. This is Lauren with Shabby Chic Sunday, and I am here with Sunday, of course, too. We would like to show you um, the first part of my design team project for Carrie Ann at Shabby Art Boutique. This is my little fairy house, and I'm using her newest kit, which is for the month of August, and it's all about forest fairies. It is absolutely magical. I can't wait for you to see it. And so if you're a member of the craft room, then this is the kit that you get to play with for the month of August. So the first thing I wanted to show you is just all of the beautiful elements that are in her kit. There's probably between 200 and 250 of these little fussy cuts on my project. Um, I just absolutely loved the little snails. There's butterflies, there's moths, there's dragonflies. And so what I did was, um, after they were all fussy cut out of varying sizes, I glued them all with Mod Podge and then I sprinkled glitter on top of them and I rounded the um, edges in a little bit. So it would look like, you know, a dragonfly had just landed here on this mushroom or, um, you know, a butterfly had just landed here and they're uh, drying out their wings. And so um, I just wanted them to look a little bit more lifelike on the fairy house. So over here, these are mushrooms that I made and all you have to do is use um, little fairy lights, hot glue, and then sprinkle some glitter on. And then you can make them any size that you want. You can add any color you want to them and they really help to light up the interior of the house so that you can see it better. So I'll turn off the light in a moment to show you what those look like. But look at those little snails hiding in there. I just absolutely loved the snails. I don't. I think they might have been my favorite part, Carrie Ann. <laughs> they were absolutely adorable. And the dragonflies. So uh, let's start with the shelf over here. So um, my dad made the structure. He made the furniture. And then I, as usual, got to do the fun part, which was just decorating everything. So up here I have a little dragonfly perched on the shelf. And there's a little dice and there's a slingshot. These are just little, um, see if you can see them, little charms, tools. And I just um, rested those so that everything looked old, like something that a fairy maybe had, oops, sorry, I almost dropped you, something that the fairy had maybe found and has been harboring and keeping on his little knickknack shelf. There's a little jar here. Um, this says morning dew, and it's just some water and glitter. There's their bow for their bow and arrow. There's some rolled up pieces of parchment, some books. Next to the book is a rusted paintbrush. Sorry, it is really hard to film all this because it's so tiny. Um, there is some glitter, and it says stored magic, a rusted shovel, sewing stuff, and inside there are teeny tiny little buttons and pieces of thread. Then there's a rock collection. There's some rusted scissors next to the sewing stuff. A little bucket of some things they found in the forest. And on the wall behind the shelf, I took the little fairies that come in Carrie Ann's kit and I sized them down to about the size of my fingernail, my pinky fingernail, and then put them in frames. So that's like the little fairy family portraits for the fairies who live here. There's some more um, mushrooms. This is a little rocking chair. Let's see. Right here. And this is a table behind it. And on the table then, the top of the table is made from mushrooms. And the little book, let's see if I can zoom in, says The Adventures of Peter Pan. And there's a pencil and a little pocket watch and a treasure map and some cards. Sorry, I feel like this is really hard to, to see everything. And then I just loaded it up with all the beautiful elements from Carrie Ann's kit. Um, up here, this is a little light, and this right here, can I get in there, is another little light right there, and then uh, this is a floor lamp, so there's one, two, three lights right there. 
Okay, so then let's pull you back a little bit. Oh, we almost forgot their mailbox. This should be by the front door, actually, so I'll move it. But here's their little mailbox. Let's put that to the side. Okay, so I guess I should have technically started over here on the, the back side because this is how you get into the fairy house. So this fairy's welcome sign is um, from Carrie Ann's Teapot Fairies Kit, and I thought it was so perfect. Um, there's some more of the little dragonflies, and they're all just so sparkly. Everything is very sparkly. The fairies are sparkly. So you can just grab the little door handle open the door up, and then you can get a little sneak peek inside. So that closes like that. And then this is the outside. So zoom out a little bit. There's another fairy up there. And we just went foraging together in the woods of his backyard to find all of this stuff to put inside of the house. And so this is all just bark from his backyard. And we just put little pieces all around to kind of make it look like the outside of the tree. And then this is the fairy house that contains all the little fairies and all of their forged treasures inside of the tree. It's like a little fairy hollow. And their mailbox. Okay, so I think I'm going to set it to music and just kind of go through it again. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more clear pretty difficult to film this but I'll try my best and um, I'll be back shortly with the second part of my project which is going to be the journal that goes along with it so I will see you guys soon mm -hmm. 